Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate integral from 0 to 1, natural log square of 1 minus x over x with respect to x uh, by three different methods. Okay, here, uh, first method, I'm going to take a substitution here, 1 minus x, so we can take 1 minus x is equal to t. Now, differentiate minus dx is equal to dt. So now we can plug in here our integral is equal to uh, now we should change the boundaries so lower limit when x approaches to 0 we know here 1 and upper limit 0 and here we have natural log square of now 1 minus x we know t so natural log square of t over now x is equal to 1 minus t and dx is equal to minus dt well then uh, we can change uh, this limits lower limits and upper limits when we change the limit this minus get cancelled so we will have 0 to 1 natural log square of t over 1 minus t dt okay now uh, we know uh, 1 over 1 minus t we can represent as a infinite series power series so we can write here sum of n is equal 0 to infinity uh, t to the n and here we have natural log square of t okay in this method uh, i am going to use the derivative so if we take uh, the derivative partial derivative of uh, t to the k with respect to k we know this is equal to t to the k times natural log of t okay now uh, if we take uh, second derivative uh, of t to the k we know <coughs> here we have t to the k times natural log square of t well now uh, sorry here square here also square and now i am going to take uh, when k approaches to zero second order partial derivative of t to the k we know when k is equal to 0, here we have natural log square of t. So, uh, we can uh, plug in here. We can write this is equal to uh, second order partial derivative of t to the k uh, when k is equal to 0 and here dt. Okay, then uh, we can write uh, sigma notation first so n is equal 0 to infinity then uh, second order derivative of uh, now we can write here uh, integral from 0 to 1 here t to the n here t to the k so t to the n plus k power uh, times dt uh, when k approaches to 0 okay then mm, now we can integrate here n is equal 0 to infinity here uh, second order derivative with respect to k now here we know integration of t to the n plus k uh, n plus k plus 1 or oh, sorry mm, t to the n plus k plus 1 okay uh, t to the n plus k plus 1 over n plus k plus 1 from 0 to 1 when k is equal 0 here uh, remember that here t to the t raised to the n plus k plus 1 okay then uh, now we can write infinite sum 0 to infinity uh, k square now here if we plug in 1 t to the so 1 to the n plus k plus 1 we know 1 so 1 over 1 over n plus k plus 1 when k is equal 0 ok now uh, we can take the second derivative of 1 over n plus k plus 1 so if we take the derivative of the derivative of 1 over n plus k plus 1 
uh, we know this is equal to minus 1 over n plus k plus 1 square now if we take uh, second derivative of 1 over n plus k plus 1 now we know derivative of this function so here we know n plus k plus 1 raised to the fourth power then here minus and also minus so plus 2 times n plus k plus 1 okay then uh, we can write now this is equal to uh, infinite sum 0 to infinity now uh, second order derivative of 1 over n plus k plus 1 we know uh, 2 over now we know n plus k plus 1 get cancelled so n plus k plus 1 uh, when sorry when uh, k is equal to 0 okay then uh, we know uh, here we have here fourth power sorry so we have n is equal 0 to infinity here 2 with this 2 we can write outside of the sigma notation and here we have 1 over n plus 1 to the third power and now we can uh, shift the index so here n is equal 1 to infinity here we know n cube and we know uh, 1 over sum of 1 to infinity 1 over n cube theta of 3 okay this is the answer now uh, we are going to move to uh, our second um, solution okay now uh, second method uh, in this method uh, I am also going to take a substitution so now I am going to take minus natural log of 1 minus x is equal to u then differentiate uh, we know 1 over minus 1 over 1 minus x and also we should subtract by minus 1 so here 1 dx is equal to du okay then uh, now if we take natural log of 1 minus x we can write this is equal to minus u now we know 1 minus x is equal to e to the minus u then x is equal to 1 minus e to the minus u okay then here uh, we can isolate the dx we know dx is equal to uh, 1 minus uh, x we know 1 minus so plus e to the minus u d u okay then this one this one get cancel and dx is equal to e to the minus u d u okay now we can plug in here now uh, we should change the limit uh, we know when x approaches to 0 minus natural log of 1 uh, here we can take the limit so here 0 and here we know infinity now natural log uh, of 1 minus x u so here we have u square over now x is equal to 1 minus e to the minus u and dx is equal to e to the minus u d u okay then uh, now we can write this is equal to 0 to infinity here u square now instead of e to the minus u over 1 minus e to the minus u uh, we can use a serious representation so we can write this is equal to sum of n is equal 1 to infinity e to the minus n uh, u d u okay then uh, we can switch sigma notation and integral sign here n is equal 1 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity here u square uh, times e to the minus n u times d u okay then uh, here uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity now i am going to take a substitution so we can take n times u is equal to uh, t then n times du is equal to dt limit we know also 0 to infinity so here u we know t over n so t square over n square uh, here e to the minus 
dt now du we know du is equal to dt over n okay then uh, we can write sum of n is equal 1 to infinity here n square here n so 1 over n cube integral from 0 to infinity now here we have t to the uh, 3 minus 1 times e to the minus t dt and we know this is uh, gamma function definition of gamma function gamma of 3 and here we know we have a series 1 over n cube this is equal to theta of 3 so gamma of 3 we know 2 so 2 times theta of 3 okay this is the answer for this integral okay in this method uh, i am going to use uh, our first method substitution uh, but i am not going to use uh, the derivative so here 1 minus x is equal to t uh, now differentiate minus dx is equal to dt so now we can plug in here uh, we know here uh, limit 1 to 0 so uh, we know uh, the first solution so here we have 0 to 1 natural log square of t over 1 minus t dt okay then uh, integral from 0 to 1 1 over 1 minus t uh, we can represent as an infinite series so here sum of n is equal 0 to infinity t to the n uh, times here natural log square of t dt okay then uh, we can switch sigma notation and integral sign here 0 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 now i am going to use uh, ivp integration by parts uh, so here as a first function i am going to take natural log square of t uh, then uh, d here uh, integration of first function we know t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 okay then um, here 0 to infinity integral uh, sorry here we know product of these two functions so here uh, t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 times natural log square of t from 0 to 1 then minus integral from 0 to 1 t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 times the derivative of natural log square of t we know 2 times natural log of t over t dt okay then uh, if we plug in if we apply limit here 1 natural log of t we know 0 here uh, if we apply 0 so 0 so we have n is equal 0 to infinity uh, here 0 and here minus uh, now we know uh, here t here t to the n plus 1 so t get cancelled and 2 over n plus 1 is a constant so 2 over n plus 1 integral from 0 to 1 now here we have t to the n uh, times natural log of t t to the n times natural log of t dt okay then uh, again we can uh, integrate uh, by parts method so here uh, n is equal 0 to infinity minus 2 over n plus 1 uh, now here 0 to 1 now i am going to take natural log of t as a first function and then d uh, here integration of t to the n we know t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 okay then uh, sum of 0 to infinity sorry sum of 0 to infinity uh, here minus 2 over n plus 1 and uh, now here product of these two functions so t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 times natural log of t from 0 to 1 minus integral from 0 to uh, 1 here t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 rewrite this function and the derivative of natural log of t we know 1 over t d t okay then uh, here if we apply limit 0 to 1 we know this part will be 0 so here we have infinite sum n is equal 0 to infinity uh, here minus 2 over n plus 1 here also minus sign so plus uh, 2 over here n plus uh, 1 here n plus 1 uh, so n plus 1 square 
n plus 1 square and here we know this t get cancelled and integra uh, integration of t to the n we know t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 uh, from 0 to 1 okay then uh, here 0 to infinity now if we apply limit here 1 1 over n plus 1 so we have 2 over n plus 1 cube uh, this is equal to 2 times n is equal 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 cube and here 2 times n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n cube we know this is equal to theta of 3 okay if you like this type of videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching